All right, so hello everybody. Today I have you another reading wrap up. This is books one sixteen to one twenty. So let's let's go. I don't actually looking at these. I think all of these were pretty meh, but that's that's just how it goes sometimes. First up, I've got uh, for a mother's love by Lee Butcher. This is a true crime uh, novel about. Um, well, it says it's about this guy who got this dentist who got murdered and they convicted his uh, stepson for it because there was a illicit relationship between the stepson and the mother, which is true. Um, but what this was really about was about this woman. What's her name? Virginia. Um, but she, Vir Virginia Larzalaire. Um, so it's really about this woman's kind of entire life scamming people because <laughs> like she'd work for people and then she'd like um steal a bunch of money and then marry another guy steal a bunch of money and um she was really trying to get her dentist husband really killed off and there was a really weird relationship between her and her son um overall it was an all right true crime book um it's not one of my favorites it's a case that i wasn't familiar with so that's cool to learn more about this case um mostly though it was like i said like it was about this wife uh, this woman virginia larzalaire who was just pretty much trash um yeah virginia larzalaire a chronic drug user and sex addict had an unwholesome relationship with all her children especially her teenage son jason um so yeah and she she was eventually arrested and everything and was uh, convicted of first degree murder uh, apparently jason was acquitted um but yeah it was okay it was it's not my favorite true crime book i've ever read it wasn't super it was just kind of a book you know uh then i read foxfire by joyce carol oates this is about a girl gang and i think it's about the 50s yep it's in the 50s um it's about these these girls who are trying who try to really uh they're trying to keep up or like beat the the gangs of all the boys who are roving the streets because they're thinking that these girls can't do anything and it mostly follows um it, it's really talking about um the uh the their main their, their main kind of bad bad girl is this girl legs this was i think made into a movie in like the 90s with like angelina jolie in it um, it was interesting. It was written very interestingly. It's very um, slang heavy, which I did enjoy. I liked that a lot. Um, I liked the the relationships between the girls. It is very kind of tiptoes the line of like possibly being kind of gay and not being gay at all kind of thing. It's, it's got a weird kind of relationship there between the main character and Legs. Um, but it was interesting. I did, I did, I did enjoy it. Oh, by the way, I don't know, I don't remember why I read this one. Maybe three stars. I should start writing that in the front of the books too, where I write when I finished them. Um, but yeah, no, I did, I did, um, I, I did like, like that about it. And like I said, like it's, it's a very interesting look at this, this kind of subculture. And it's an interesting look at, at how people react to these girl gangs versus how they're reacting to the boys gangs and everything like that. There's definitely some commentary in there. Um, but yeah, no, it's, 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 it's a big kind of revenge thing too. Like they, they end up, they're trying to do revenge on like the first one is like that one of their girls is getting preyed upon by like their math teacher and stuff like that and so it, it, it does have a lot of really feminist stuff in it um i enjoyed it i think i gave it four stars um it's one that'll probably keep around if you don't still have a second bookshelf now but um it's also a bunch of books stacked over there so a lot of these i'm not keeping but this one i'll probably keep around i did enjoy it it was a fun time uh, then i watched the thing happens by terence rafferty uh, 10 years of writing about the movies. This is like a collection of uh, Rafferty's like articles about movies and it's interesting because it's not just like high film like you might expect. He like, put like Gremlins 2 in here which is kind of fun. Um, I did, I, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was interesting. Um, it did make me want to watch some of these movies because I didn't, I haven't seen a lot of these movies. I think looking, looking down the list he's got here he talks about directors first which is interesting um but when he's talking about the movies it's like i've seen silence of the lambs and terminator 2 
and that's it. Um, and like I said, like he split, they split into a couple different parts. So like he talks about directors and he talks about movies. I didn't, I did enjoy his thoughts. I thought they were interesting. Um, like I said, it did make me want to watch some more, some of these movies that I haven't seen. However, um, there was some of it where it's just like, I'm just like, definitely not interested. You know, like I try, like, like with books, with movies, I do try to watch more than just my, uh, my preferred genre, which is horror. It's more definitively horror for movies than it is for books. Although both of them, my favorite genre is horror. Um, but there are some movies that I'm just not interested in that he's talking about here. And he was pretty funny too. He had some interesting thoughts. Um, um, but yeah, no, it was, it was an interesting one. Um, if you're interested in film, I would say maybe pick it up. Like I said, it's not, it's, it's a kind of a cross between popular movies and more like high art kind of film. Um, so yeah, I think I ended up giving it three stars as well. Not sure. Uh, then I read a book that I actually won from Goodreads. Um, this is Rebel Talent by Francesca Gino. This is a nonfiction book about um, like being like breaking breaking the rules to get ahead and like work in life and stuff like that. It was okay. I mean, it mostly just talked about for other people who had done that. Um, like, it wasn't it wasn't really a self help book. It was more of a uh, an anthology of stories of people who had broken the rules. Um, so there was that. You know, it was okay. I think that that's, that's a pretty common talk about this book. Other people who like is that like I won this from Goodreads. I got this for free. Um, I think. All the other people who have won this from Goodreads have also kind of said the same thing where it's like it's it, it's all right you know and it's and it's not poorly written it's okay but it is more of a kind of inspiration porn kind of deal than anything useful um so there's that it was it was it was okay um somebody might get something good out of it um that somebody is not going to be me though I will be gonna be unhauling it next month um it was okay, you know, like I said, it didn't really help out much, but it's always interesting to read different things. I think I gave this one like three stars too. Maybe two, I don't even, it's, it, like I said, it was a pretty meh set of five books here. Um, and finally, I read, did I write this one? I hope not. Oh, yep, I did. Uh, The First Days of School by Harry K. Wong and Rosemary T. Wong. This is like the quintessential book that they always give to first year teachers or teachers when they're just graduating college. Uh, if you don't know, I am now teaching English. I don't have a degree. Um, I was, uh, it's, I'm, do, I'm running on an alternate access license and I'm theoretically getting certified this year so that I can continue teaching. Um, but this is one that my mom let me borrow. Um, so I'm gonna be getting this back to her. It is more elementary focused than high school focused. Um, it was, it, it is clearly kind of written with the, uh, with elementary students in mind and my youngest kids are seventh graders. I've got seven through 12 English, small, small school. Um, so there, that, that, that it was kind of having to, uh, you know, figure out the, uh, the, what, what would be useful for me as going into high school otherwise. Um, it was okay. You know, like I said, it was more elementary focused. I can see why it's the, the test of time I know that this I mean like this is one that like my mom read when she was in college and now uh, my boyfriend who is currently in college to be a teacher is also also like got this book so it's like it, it's 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 a it's a big test of time thing it's okay you know it mostly it's mostly just to to sum it all up the first day of school is the most important and if you fuck that up, whoops. But yeah, I think I gave this three stars too. Something like that, man. It was a very meh group of books. These are books 116 through 120. They are heavy. That is all every day. I will talk to you later and goodbye.